hello everyone okay so today we are going to begin our next video I mean with the next topic that is education for commerce okay so t in the last video we have completed about the education English Education Act of 1835 uh, which was in the Macaulay's minute and all stuff and this was the last topic where we left in the last video but in today's topic we are going to study a new thing that is Woods Dispatch okay Woods Dispatch now let's get to this so first of all what is Woods Dispatch first of all what happened here okay in 1854, the Court of Directors of the East India Company in London sent an educational dispatch to the Governor General in India. Okay, so it is telling about the 1854. In 1854, okay, in 1854, the Court of Directors of the East India Company. Okay, so East India Company has its Court of Directors in London and they sent an educational dispatch to the governor general in India okay which was issued by whom which was issued by Charles Wood okay issued by Charles Wood and who was Charles Wood Charles Wood the pre was the president of um, yeah board of control of company okay it has come to be known as Woods Dispatch. Later onwards, this uh, this word, this issuance from Charles Wood was known as Woods Dispatch, as it came from London to Delhi to India. Outlining the educational policy. Now, what was in this dispatch? We are going to study about that outlining the educational policy that was to be followed in India. It emphasized once again in the practical benefits of a system of European learning as opposed to the oriental knowledge. So when it was decided that which education policy is going to be followed in India, even after that, even after that, it emphasized once again that which dispatch emphasized means it complemented once again the practical benefits of system of European learning and opposed the oriental knowledge. Now let's get to the next thing. In this paragraph we are going to study, in this paragraph it is telling us that one of the practical uses the dispatch pointed to was economic. Okay, so what was the practical use? The practical uses were economic. European learning, it said, would enable Indians to recognize the advantages they flow from the expansion of trade and commerce. So, this is just telling us that European learning would make us to learn and recognize and, and tell the advantages of any machine that flow from expansion of trade and commerce and all stuff. Okay, now it is telling us that here and make them see the importance of developing resources now what was the idea of Britishers now what they thought that if Indians would be able to learn about European lifestyle European way of living they will be taking European lifestyle products using begin like uh, use begin by using uh, European life products and as she got as one got the, those life product they will be they will be asking them to as as they know about the that uh, what demands they needed as they uh, got to learn from European way of lifestyle and they are following the way so they will be needing things which is not available in India because it's not a part of Indian lifestyle and it is a part of European lifestyle so it will be available in Europe and as it is available in Europe so Indians have to buy those things from British goods okay and those British goods are going to be at high prices and as they are at high prices people won't be able to take that and if they will take that they are going to disrespect their culture disrespect their country so this is what happened this was also one of the strategies of uh, Indian Indian philosophers who was up, who was up, who were up, opposing the orientalists now the next thing is Woods Dispatch also argued that European learning would improve the moral character of Indians. 
it would make them truthful and honest now what is it saying that in the european learning if indians would learn european learning they will be honest and truth they will be following the way of honesty and the truthness and their moral character will be developed and thus supply the company with civil servants now as they are moral as their moral character is developed so they would be able to supply or they would be able to work for company with to with full loyalty and uh, nothing uh, with full loyalty and this much loyalty that pum- a company could be able to trust on that person depend upon that person okay the literature of the east and what was also mentioned in this woods dispatch that the eastern literature means the indian literature is full of grave of errors okay it could also not instill in people a sense of duty and a commitment to work nor could i develop the skills required for admiration now here's the next paragraph now in this paragraph it is telling that following the 1854 dispatch now everybody everybody uh, agreed to this 1854 woods dispatch now as everyone got agreed to it so several measures and steps were introduced by british government so educational in- department started opening in which european learning would be the subject and were uh, set up to extend control all over all matters regarding education so now it is also telling that 18 in the 1854 woods under woods dispatch indians were also allowed so basically government was up set up to extend control over all matters regarding education so education no, no not about indians it is not about indians it is about educational department department started to get open and steps were taken to make system of university education okay university education and for that in 1857 in 1857 while while suppose rose uh, suppose rose in revolt in meerut delhi and meerut and delhi universities were being established in where calcutta madras and bombay so these are the three states where universities were being made calcutta madras and bombay their current name or you know already has changed calcutta kolkata then uh, madras would be chennai and bombay will be mumbai okay now in these three states universities were being made and there attempts were also made to bring about changes within the system of school education but it did not happen okay only university education was affected with this woods dispatch so i hope you are clear with woods dispatch because it played a really very important role in the education system of india at that time in the next video we are going to cover the next topic that is what happened to the local schools thank you have a good day and if you have any kind of question please mention in the comment section and uh, so that i'll answer your all questions and clear your all doubts bye bye